All right. Hello, guys. Hello. Welcome to this very special segment of Are We Rolling? The nostalgic sen- th- segment. <laughs> the really nostalgic, weird podcast thing that we're going to do for Are We Rolling? And today, we are going to be reviewing, if not roasting, this really bad movie that I made in high school, starring the one and only Mike Almasi. <laughs> Mike, when was the last time you actually watched this movie? Oh, God. Three or four years ago. <laughs> Three or four years. That's probably like the last time that I saw this movie. I made this movie when I was like 16 years old. It's called The Artist in the Pure. And all I did was just shoot it with just a DSLR and a tripod and just a bunch of friends that I knew. And this movie's like 50 minutes long. Which is honestly... Full-length like, feature. Yeah, it's a full-length feature. It's really psychotic. Um, psychotic. <laughs> who makes a 50-minute movie when they're, like, 16? <laughs> the movie was premiered in January of 2014, so that was a long time ago. So here's, like, the plot that I wrote. The rival between the individualists and the pure ones had been at it for many years. When an individualist falls in love with a pure, they try to keep their love a secret. Once everyone finds out, problems begin to occur. Yeah. Oh my god, I got like flagged for all these mu- all the music tracks that I took. I'm probably gonna have to like mute a number of these clips because I just put like music that I took from movie scores and put them in the movie because I didn't. Was know- it like you took like the whole Hunger Games movie score <laughs> and like included it? You're like, God, oh, the Hunger Games is the best movie ever. I'm gonna use all of its music for this. If you're like way too curious about this movie and you just want to just watch it before you uh, see a roast this i'm going to put the link in the bio so you can just watch you should it also on watch the time. bloopers clip of this <laughs> okay without further ado ours in the pure <laughs> hunger <laughs> games music stop no wait i don't think this is hunger games music <laughs> polar express music <laughs> <laughs> emo mike <laughs> hey which do, which do you like better me or emo mike <laughs> Comment below. Comment below. <laughs> like and subscribe. <laughs> the great clip to stop at. Too. <laughs> Mike, what are you looking at? Oh, oh fuck. fuck. Because Dax wants me to express my individualism in the world. Your acting is just great, A, so far. It's great. I'm perfect in every way. <laughs> my individualism. Individualism. <laughs> hey, she's the one who wrote the movie. <laughs> FYI. And we were all, I think half of us were in college when we did it. So it's like. No, me and Joe were in high school. Ooh. You, Brianna, Kelly, Joe, other Joe, and Luke were in college. college. <laughs> like beginning of college. So, so we were like all busy as, as hell and like. No, we only stri- we strictly filmed on Mondays because you were only available on Mondays. I worked. I this was job. over the summer. I worked. I had a full-time job. Yeah, at Chick-fil-A. My pleasure. <laughs> Really quick, for some reason, that took like 15 takes. <laughs> his brother presents something that represents individualism on this day. Since when did that become a priority? <laughs> I'm gonna add emotion. <laughs> you do this for me. Fine, I will. <sighs> okay, Dad. I like how we have all these shots of you putting on and taking off your I shoes. You also tripped over and fell over. <laughs> Magically, my hair got short. <laughs> hey, we went to a private school, and they wouldn't let me have long hair, and I was pushing it enough. You were in college at this point. Oh, wait. No, it was work. It was Chick-fil-A. <laughs> Chick-fil-A is like, you got to cut your hair. And look at me now. Like, I'm like, I don't know. Oh, how. just fuck it. I think my hair is longer than yours. What? Yeah. Get back on your side. What, what the hell is that for? Never cross the border again. You're a color. Jeez, okay, this God, sounds so, so racist bad. in hindsight. It was meant like Kelly's side is just like black, white, uh, gray kind of people. And then Mike's side is supposed to be all the colors of the rainbow. That's like literally what it was supposed to be. But just in hindsight, it just comes off like so wrong. I don't know. I <laughs> feel like I should have worked. racism. <laughs> and, uh... I'm the stupid one here. My brother is the leader of the land and he can crush you like a bug. It's like great A screenwriting. Should we up like the quality of this? Because you're screen recording? I can't. Oh. Like this is literally the best quality. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there we go with the shoes again. <laughs> That's not the point. 
Who did this? Look, I was in the forest collecting rocks for my science project. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. That was like a subtle whoa. joke, I swear. That was from something where everybody's like, whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Uh, I'm sorry, Kira, I, I, I was thinking. It took like 20 takes to do it just because it was so funny. It was like, what the hell? Luke and Kelly are probably like the two people who like did the best in this. Just yeah. acting. Luke and Kelly were like the best actors in this whole movie. Mike was the worst. Probably. I'm terrible. <laughs> garbage. I'm utter garbage. You know, it's funny because... I didn't even know there was another land out there that hated us. Doc's never told me anything about this pure side before, and he gets mad at me. For it's kind of like one of those things where it's like, didn't you pay attention at all during, like, history class? All of a sudden, I become, like, interested in international politics. <laughs> he gets mad at me for asking all these, you know, curious questions. I always love your hand gestures in this entire movie. You're just like, curious questions, and... Okay, fine! I'm Italian, that's how we talk. No, huh. Baba the boopy. She was kind of pretty, I guess. <laughs> She's pretty. Damn it, I'm getting friend zoned. <laughs> it's funny, I still have that landline. <laughs> 2019, people. <laughs> Hello, Dax. Who is this? That's like the biggest insult ever. Hello, I'm here to confront you. Who the fuck is it's this? Like he's about to sneeze right now. <laughs> <laughs> Finley never knew about the peers, so he thought that Kira was just fooling him. He's casually reading his lines <laughs> right in front of him. Oh my god, you're right. There's like the script right there in the highlighted lines. Yeah, we were we were really bad about lines. I remember that day. It was strictly just you and Joe, just mostly just fucking around oh and my. pissing me off. Yeah, like nothing done. <laughs> We probably have like two hours of like dumb shit and then just like this 50 minute movie that was <laughs> Well, I guess you're right, other than the fact that you're wrong. You're right. Wrong! <laughs> you're right, but you're also wrong. wrong. You know what's funny is like, we're gonna go to court and I'm thinking, who's like in the middle of this? Like Switzerland or something? Switzerland. <laughs> Very creepy right now. <laughs> It's okay. it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm gonna kill you. It's okay. It's okay. Everything happens for a reason. <laughs> What's it like on the other side? What are the colors like? Are they as sinful as they say they are? You're like, your cinematography here is great. And also, like, I love how it's just like, it's sinful. And it's just like, what is sinful? Like, <laughs> would judge us from being different or weird. Everyone is kind and helpful, and no one is left behind. That's interesting. <laughs> That's interesting. I like how you get like a whole like like ten feet closer to her in that next shot. <laughs> it's like I feel like it kind of sounds like what we have, except called National Peers Day. You were definitely holding the script in that shot. Yeah, I had it like down here. There's there's a picture of me online. You got to put it in here. Okay, where it's I'll me with this, it. With me with the script on my tape to my chest. <laughs> This entire movie was like, how much skill can you have to literally hide a script where you don't see it in the shot? Oh my god. I keep giving my brother Duncan every my gift every year. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Hey. How you doing? That bro shake. That like, was like, <laughs> like, yo, bro. Oh. Yo, it's, yeah. I like how Joe looks so sad. It was like, that was but just But you like, guys nailed it. We nailed it. You just, got, you just know. It's what happens when you work at Chick Fil A. You're like, my pleasure, man. Like, <laughs> there's your fucking car in the background. That minivan still. Mike's soccer mom van in the background. I though. still have it, and <laughs> I somehow can run after sitting for six months in a parking lot. Asher, Asher, wait! Don't leave my house. I'm gonna murder you. <laughs> you stay here right now. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I have a. Am I wearing a Nickelback shirt? I don't know. I hope not. That's a, that's a Nickelback shirt. <laughs> Fucking kill me. I accidentally went to a Nickelback concert and I bought a shirt. How do you accidentally go to a concert? I thought the headliner was Breaking Benjamin, and my brother's like, "Oh no, there's a." It was Shine Down, Sick Puppies, and Breaking Benjamin, and I thought Breaking Benjamin was headline. I'm like, "Oh yeah," and my brother's like, "No wait, there's another band," and I'm like, "Another band." And they're like, yeah, it's like Nickelback. I'm like, oh, okay, I guess we'll stay. They're good live, but people shit on them. You never heard me say that. I can have my own opinions. 
No, you can't. No, I can't. <laughs> Every metalhead, forgive me. <laughs> you are such a procrastinator in this movie. I'm a procrastinator in real life. Where will I put this? Here. I'm pretty sure it'll be safe here. It took me like 10 takes to. <laughs> I like yeah. couldn't open her backpack. I'm like, damn it! Like. <laughs> It'll be safe here, but I decide not to, like, completely close it and, and zip it up all the way. So, someone's brother can see it. <laughs> because... I like you. you like me? Oh, shit! <laughs> oh, no, are you guys gonna kiss? <laughs> oh, that pan away shot, though. It was great, because, like, both me and Kelly were dating someone at the time. <laughs> yeah. Kelly married him too yeah it's just kind of funny it's like okay how are we gonna like shoot this where you guys kiss but you actually don't wasn't it my, was it my idea to pan away like that or was it yours it was both like you and kelly's idea oh yeah you two should just kiss no 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 <laughs> not happening i didn't say you guys should kiss no but like i can imagine like, like it had to happen like that whole you guys had your characters had to kiss that scene had to happen that scene had to happen because that kiss just started some shit <laughs> My ass hurts right now sitting <laughs> on the ground. What is this? Iris. You're in love with the pure? I like how, how she just jumped the gun. Like, I like you. You're in love? <laughs> At least I'm not wearing a Nickelback t-shirt. <laughs> oh, I'm not mad. I'm furious. I'm not mad. I'm just disappointed. I'm just disappointed. <laughs> that would have been worse. <laughs> Iris. Iris, Iris, I'm not gonna no. try to call out after you, but I'm gonna be really quiet about it. Amen. <laughs> and then right after she leaves, you just look back at Kelly like, all right, so where were we? <laughs> where were we? <laughs> you, me, my, my minivan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, hold on. I think this is your greatest acting right here. Right here? Yeah. What the hell is wrong with you? What? Don't want me. You told Docs about Kiera. <laughs> something i wrote because i say that all the time don't want me <laughs> literally in the script i think i like i italicized it and put it in quotes like don't what me i always saw me with kira more like all over you know will you shut up i felt so bad having to act mean towards brianna because she's yeah. just like she's a really she's cool i don't really know her super well so i was just like i don't feel comfortable doing this but it's it's the script i have to i know everybody's really nice society just gives us that name to use and it's all just stupid why can't we just keep our opinions to ourselves and you know respect everyone but no but no <laughs> we should just pinpoint all the times where you just kind of over exaggerate all of your emotions oh my god <laughs> uh, uh, i have uh. i have feelings <laughs> the suffering <laughs> i like that hair that emo hair flip though where you just go like oh she's not just a person not just a pure i love her <laughs> my hair is like everywhere i like, uh, <laughs> I like how you jumped the gun after like one day you know i liked her but now i'm just gonna say i'm in love don't with you her. see my hair is longer it's only been it's been two days not <laughs> one day at the time this had to be my greatest cinematic piece of work <laughs> <laughs> this dream sequence you know what's right you know it finley choose damn it choose shut up there's like this whole backstory when Luke says, choose, damn it, choose. <laughs> like so many people made a joke out of it when they saw that. Because literally Luke was supposed to just say, choose, damn it, choose. But he's like, choose, damn it. <laughs> that was actually really good. Yeah. Trigger warning. <laughs> this is the most emo Mike could get. Gosh, the dog ran away again. <laughs> I like how Joe is wearing your shoes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, there's that script. They had to turn on a light so he could read the script. <laughs> I warned you. And now you're gonna pay. Battle hey, scene. Hey, for what? It's not my fault you're a hypocrite. The cringy <gasps> rain. Hypocrite! Hypocrite! <laughs> that is it! All you and your society does is insult us. And I'm tired of it. 
<laughs> oh my god, with this! As he slowly gets mad, the phone goes in front of his face. <laughs> Looks like I'm just done, and he's just like slowly pulling the phone away. I'm tired. <laughs> it's just hard to say. This is probably like pretty good writing, you know, because it's just like you know, oh, she's... you finally talk about all the context of like this is why this happens, this is why this happens. I'm just trying to validate my 16 year old horrible writing, so you know, let's just play this. Let's just play this. <laughs> Tomorrow you will taste my blade. Tomorrow? I'm sorry that turn around shot though. Hey, I was trying to be creative with my cinematography, Mike. Oh my gosh. <laughs> hey, did you hear the announcement that there's gonna be a war tomorrow? Yeah. Every time that everybody heard that line, they're like, oh yeah, there's just a war tomorrow, whatever. <laughs> hey, yeah, we're all gonna fight in a war tomorrow. You wanna come? Oh yeah, it seems like... I mean, it's it's between that or just sitting around painting, so it seems more exciting. Well, I mean, I'm gonna I'm just gonna be a little bit late. I got a haircut, but like I'll show up after afterward. <laughs> I'm the one who's a little bit late. <laughs> also, I'm always late. You're dead at this point, Mike. Oh, maybe you I am committed dead. suicide. <laughs> or so you think. I'll see you later, I guess. Don't die. I like how that's like probably the last time you're ever gonna see your best friend. It's just like, Mike, I'm gonna find a war tomorrow. Okay, don't die. Don't die. <laughs> yes. Okay, this had to be one of the funnest things to film. It was just like, we have one take to do this. Just do it. Yeah. If I had a chance to do this again, I would. You know, I'm just gonna write a movie where you destroy everything. <laughs> That'd be great. <laughs> My name's Mike Elmes. I, I would appreciate you so much if you did that. <laughs> they call me the destructor. <laughs> Destroyer of worlds. <laughs> Yes, here we go. on the colored pencils because it's just like i just destroyed everything oh, oh colored pencils ah! i was like looking for other things in the story let's just, let's just let's just look at this again what oh can we get a replay i want, a, I want an instant replay of uh <laughs> fuck these colored pencils finley is that you asher what are you doing at school on a saturday <laughs> I was, I was doing some homework. I was destroying the art room. <laughs> well, Doss called my house last night telling me that you went missing and killed yourself. Look at her clearly reading the lines off my chest. But what's going on? Why did he call Duncan? Joe's just there in the background. Oh, here we go again. I'm just third wheel and everything. Third wheel all this year. <laughs> I found Asher and then... I Wait. What? A war? It's happening. Take up your arms! Prepare for battle! Prepare for battle! <laughs> Did you see Ashton's knife? He just went, Yeah, I got my knife here. I'm ready to stab. I got my kniff. I'm ready to stab you. stab. Wait for the fake rain animation. Iron! Finley, no! Finley! Girl, stay! <laughs> Thanks, cuz. I just, I just want to say that, like, I like how we're running down that hill, and that's like a really steep hill. I'm surprised neither one of us kind of just like fell over. Yeah, I can't imagine you're like, you're looking at the camera, you're like, <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, <laughs> what if I hit like a, a random rabbit hole? Oh my gosh. That would have been really bad. I know. I heard there was a war going on. I couldn't hear any of that. I just heard. Eh, eh, eh. <laughs> Oh my god, she is fucking dying, and you still friend zone her. <laughs> what am I gonna do? Like, hey, you're dying, maybe we should go on a couple dates sometime. If you were in that situation, what would you have wanted? What? If you were the chick who was dying, what would you have you wanted? I don't know, if like, I was like terribly in love with the, like, my best friend or whatever, and like, I'm like literally on the verge of dying, I probably would like, I don't know, kiss him or something? You gotta like, bring out the deed before you die. Gotta bring out the deed before you die. <laughs> Here's just help me while I'm dying. <laughs> deed before death. <laughs> like, he never 
like denied that he didn't like her. Yeah. But it she was, was assuming. But it was just kind of like, okay, I still liked you. So it would have been mutual if she were to like say like kiss your character, you know. Hey, I started this war and I love you. And I got killed in the and process. Like, what's the guy supposed to do? He's like, you're dying. You started this war because you're a jealous bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't want to kiss her either. <laughs> Literally, an entire society got destroyed over feelings. <laughs> the feels are real. I thought it was crazy when I first heard of Finley's plan. I thought it was a sin to have purity. What is their fucking religion? It's a sin to have purity. God, what are you thinking? I was gonna say, like, no virgins on this land. Oh my god, you're wearing white and gray! I, I screwed up this shot all the time for fun. <laughs> oh man, we were talking shit about you in this whole movie in this scene. <laughs> yeah. I think I still have that shot, like in the bloopers, where it's like, yeah, she's such a, she's like a bad director. Oh my god. And I'm like, guys! <laughs> you're like talk walking down the hall, I'm like, what else are we supposed to talk about? <laughs> Oh my god! It's the painting! <laughs> the symbolism! I love when things start where they end, or end where they start. Hey. And it just, like, gives me the chills hey, every I time. I purposely did a full circle ending, you know? I love full circle endings. Did you, did you like this ending at the they time? They always give me the chills. It doesn't matter what it is. I'm just like, so did you like it? Even though, like, this movie wasn't that good. Yes. <laughs> okay, cool. Thank you. I needed that validation, you know? Maddie needs a lot of validation. Stop. <laughs> I was like, how, like, curious and awestruck can I look at, like, a blank canvas? <laughs> I think that was, like, a good ending shot. That was, that was really good. Like, a good ending? She like, did a great job. I mean, can you imagine a senior in high school doing, like, this full-length movie? <laughs> Aw, thanks. It wasn't half bad. Yeah. I'm proud of you. I mean, like, at the... Thank you. At You've the, come a long way since this, you I know? know. It's so crazy that, like... I've come a long way. I made shorter films. <laughs> I did everything, like, backwards. Like, when I was younger, my first movie was, like, insanely long. And now when I get older, it just gets shorter and shorter. But I was just gonna say... Like, the last shot, it wasn't that shot where we just fade out. It's just, it shows what you're actually painting. It's like a giant dick it's or something. It's a giant dick. <laughs> Send nudes. No, I'm joking. It's Joe, and he's like, it's like the Titanic. And I'm like painting him naked or something like that. He's like, paint my body. Like, oh my God. Draw me like one of your draw me like, girls. Draw me, draw me like a French girl. <laughs> Sorry for oh making you God. uncomfortable, Joe. <laughs> We've been recording for an hour and 38 minutes out of like a 50 minute movie. <laughs> yeah, that was yeah. it. That was like, this is something I wanted to do for a while now. Is I was just like roasting the shit out of this movie. I, I still don't think it was half bad. Yeah, for what it, was. it wasn't that bad for what it was. It was good for what it was at the time at that age. And I definitely, like, grown from that. I don't know. When you make, like, stuff when you're younger, you shouldn't be, like, ashamed of it. Cause, like, oh, man, this is so bad. But, like, you look at your work from the past and you realize how much you've just grown as, like, a person and an artist. And I just think, like, like I've grown a lot since then. And I just... I don't know. I like making fun of my own stuff anyway, because it's just like it relieves the tension. I'm not, like, one of those assholes that's like, yeah, this was so good, Okay. And it's the like, wow. best thing ever. Like <laughs> this is the best movie ever. I have it on Blu-ray. <laughs> Four, it's the 4K edition. I mean, oh my gosh. You mean the 480p? The 480p edition. edition. <laughs> so weird, like being in something and then forgetting, like oh, I did this thing. Yeah, I know. Honestly, like I haven't seen this movie in so many years. Yeah. So. Yeah, it's been yeah, a long time. I know. It's been a long time. It's been a long, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been friends this long, so uh, yeah. we made movies together. We made movies together. <laughs> yeah, I think that's about it. Let's end this because this is like two hours worth of footage I gotta edit. So. It's gonna take like two weeks now. Oh, God. So, anyway, thank you, Mike, for roasting this with me. Thanks for <laughs> showing this to me again after so many years. <laughs> this is, honestly, this is so funny. It wasn't as cringy as I thought it would be, thank God. <laughs>
But this is so funny, so um, yeah. I don't know. We should do another commentary again. Oh, gosh. Yeah, we should. Okay. Well, that's this video for this week, guys. Smash that like button. Smash that subscribe button. Smash all the other buttons you can find. And uh, we will see you... Later. 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 Next week. Yeah, Next let's week. do it. Ah.